Yo, what's going on? It is Saturday morning here in Chicago. A little bit before 7 a.m. Eight degrees Fahrenheit. Snow and some light winds on the ground should make for some rather difficult running conditions today for today's threshold workout. On the menu for today, I've got five by one mile at threshold. Repeats with only one minute rest. So that's gonna be tough. Followed up with six by 200 at mile effort with 200 meter jogs not sure what the pieces are going to be today because everything's pretty slippery got a coating of snow on everything but we'll get the effort and the intensity in i've got a lot on my plate today but i like a big breakfast so let's go All right, first mile done. Whew. This is gonna be tough out today. Oh. Ooh. Just need to settle in, settle in. All right, number two done. Whew, that mile feels so long. Whew, just gotta sustain intensity. Sustain intensity. Number three, done. I should have taken a gel, either the last mile or this one, but I'm so cold. I don't feel like doing it. And the rests are so short. <sighs> <sighs> Seven minutes, 12 seconds per mile today, 244 watts, 167 beats per minute, finishing the last rep of my mile repeats for the day. One mile on, one minute rest times five. Those rests are insanely short. The time just evaporates, but I got that part of the workout done. Looking back at overall all the data, it does feel a little bit discouraging because like the paces are low and the wattage is definitely a little bit on the low side, but you know, it was snowy out there, a little bit slippery. I mean, not that I felt like I was gonna slip. I mean, there was a couple of sketchy parts, but for the most part, I didn't really feel like I was gonna slip or fall. So I didn't feel like it was a safety issue, but it certainly affects like your ability to really like get traction on the ground, even with a well-suited shoe for the conditions. Uh, so the paces aren't gonna be the same as if it was like dry and clear out on the path. So trying to be a little bit gentle to myself and not take, take it too hard that the, the numbers aren't exactly what I'd like to be seeing at this point, uh, especially because I do feel like the heart rate, so the intensity of the workout was right. Looking at the heart rate numbers, uh, even though the rests were so short, I was recovering heart rate wise back to either the high 130s, but usually kind of like in the low to mid 140s, even after just the one minute, which is kind of like my aerobic number my easy runs are generally in that range and then relatively quickly my heart rate would get up towards uh kind of my threshold range which is right around 170 and it would stay there so i feel like i was running 
the workouts correctly. The whole point of the workout is to get a lot of work, a lot of time at that threshold heart rate, working at that threshold pace, making your body more efficient at functioning at those threshold levels. But that wasn't the entire workout for today. Immediately after the last mile rep, there was another one minute short recovery and then hopping right into six by 200s, 200 meter repeats with 200 meter jogs. Now these were supposed to be at mile uh, like intensity. And again, the conditions were getting worse as the day progressed. Uh, so uh, things were even more slippery. I was looking for mile pace or mile effort. I was getting probably closer to what my goal 8K for this AK training plan race pace is going to be. So kind of like uh, in the four minute per kilometer, 626 or so uh, per mile pace range. But you know, it was really s snowy out, starting to get even more slippery. I'm not gonna worry about the paces too much on that. The power numbers were okay. They were a little bit low for what I should be doing for 200s. But uh, again, not terribly worried about it. The thing that I am concerned about is that the heart rate didn't seem to be there. These reps are shorter. They were usually for me, they're about 40 to 42 seconds long. They were like 47 seconds long or a little bit longer for, for, for this. So that is a little bit to be expected but um, I was hoping that the heart rate would peg real fast. So that's another thing that you're looking for with some of these shorter reps uh, is to work on strength and working on some more of your body's ability to function anaerobically. And so uh, the heart rate should have really been spiking a little bit more. I just don't know that I had enough like left in me to get to that like last level of heart rate to get the heart rate above 170 beats per minute. But then again, it is still a relatively short repetition. So again, not going to be too hard on myself, but also need to remember that this isn't a throwaway portion of the workout. Like for me as a distance runner, I love the five by one mile repeats. I'm like, that's the workout. That's the part I'm really excited about. And then there's like, oh yeah. And then afterwards there's six by two hundreds. I got to remember that the six by two hundreds are important too. Not that I was like, you know, dogging it or like not trying, but I got to remember when doing the five by one mile repeats that I still have to do and function for those six by 200s a little bit well. So pacing strategy kind of is, is going to be important through that because it's going to teach me how to have that stronger kick at the end, which I might need uh, at the end of a race, especially something like an 8K, which is what this workout is geared towards, but also for all, all my other running as well, having that late in the race strength. Uh, but also it's working uh, another aspect of my body, kind of getting a twofer in this workout. I spent a lot of the time doing threshold work and working the body to become more efficient at that threshold level. And it's very tired at working at that threshold level. But at the end of the day, we can throw in a couple of strides basically, or 200s, a little bit longer than strides, uh, and get a little bit more work in there, working on the anaerobic system, working on leg strength, leg turnover, that kind of thing. Even though the aerobic system might be pretty taxed, I can work on something that doesn't really work on the aerobic system. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I don't have this workout or this style of workout. I had it last week, I had it this week. I think I don't have it next week, but the following week we'll see something that looks very similar to this again. And I think for that, I'll probably tweak the workout a little bit. Jack Daniels, I'm following Jack Daniels running formula plan. And the way he writes it, he writes it as one mile on, one, mile, one minute rest. But I think there's other parts of his book where he talks about when he writes one mile on, will be about five minutes to six minutes. So my work phase is a little bit longer than that. Um, but the rest is still very strictly prescribed, not strictly, but like very specifically prescribed at one minute. So rather than increase the rest, I think what I'll do is I'll do six minute on, one minute off to make it more in line with like the intensity and duration of the workout that I think uh, was called for rather than kind of, I know like one mile, one minute is really easy to remember, but I think I can set it up in the watch so the watch just takes care of it all where I'm doing six minutes on, one minute off. I want to make sure that I'm like hitting each part of it correctly. So that's where I'm at at the end of week two of my 8K training program. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or better yet, feel free to stop by the live stream I do just about every day here on YouTube. You can ask me any questions you like there. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?